French burial. And today I've came to you with a long video, but uh, it's it's a great one. I spent a, like a whole week really progressing, you know, progressing. Uh, I went I went uh, from uh, being a lazy bad hunter, like I would say a warrior main who was not really aiming a lot and shooting a lot as I used to at some point, to a really good hunt on console now. I do name my headshots with every single gun in the game, it did take some practice, uh, but eventually I, I got it because I knew I, I knew how to and I knew I could. So uh, uh, I would go over that, you know, it really, it really took me a whole week to get good at hunter. So those were my uh, my goals. I wanted to get good. It is very important as a hunter. Then, uh, you know, get good specifically in some areas of being a hunter and and being Kelly. Oh, by the way, she looks cool, doesn't she? That outfit is uh, is really really cool. I, I love it. And by the way, even if you don't have the DLC, you can still select that outfit and have her as a loading screen at all times, which. She is the best load loading screen. Screen. I mean, just go there, select her outfit, uh, you know, in, in the outfit category, and even if you don't have the DLC, you will still have a really, really cool loading screen. No. <coughs> Anyways, uh, okay. So I would go with the build first. Then I do have some gameplay for you guys. I have a game. Uh, I have a, a blunderbuss gameplay. I have a revolver gameplay, and I have. A long game, I would say, with a rifle gameplay, and I even end up with the the new SMG a gameplay at the book, so you can see if it is good or not. So I really have everything in this in this video. I do believe that as as a hunter, there are a lot of things to cover, a lot of things to say, and uh, well, there, there is a lot to get good at, especially in this meta where hunters are difficult to play due to the fear meta a bit, but. I have a build for that, and I I, I I spend a lot of time adjusting it, changing up, uh, changing it up, you know, some putting a point there, removing a point there, and really perfecting it until I, I really came up with this build, which I think is uh, well, it's me playing the whole build, getting really good at hunter, and yeah, that's what I finally came up with. So I will not go over the basics. I'm sure you know all of them. Uh, so long shot, this might be interesting, I don't know honestly, I haven't tested it yet, maybe you know, maybe you know better than me. Hollow points, basics, super important, uh, stopping power, solid, you know, balance power, you know, useful in any situation. Weak splitter, damage, high damage, very important. Uh, nailing your headshot is something you will have to learn. Uh, basically, there is no secret. I mean, there are some tips and tricks that you will see in the gameplay videos. I I will comment over two of those gameplays and try to give you tips while I'm literally playing and uh, kind of showing you, you know, uh, how to play with some weapons. But yeah, you will see. <coughs> so now, okay, the fear meta, countering ball, a, a little bit, and not just ball. It's extremely useful against any demon. So fear and wave in, maxed out. You can be prestige, no prestige, it doesn't matter, max it out. This, okay, something very important here. 15% uh, is where it's at. <coughs> if you don't have it, you will see a big difference. <coughs> you might lose some games and find some games extremely difficult because you don't have that. However, 25% um, does not matter. I don't know why is the difference of, uh, I guess 15% is really where it's at, and 25% uh, <coughs> is a little bit too much and not really useful compared to what the demon bring. So yeah, very important here, 15%, not 25 I don't know why, I really, I, I went through a lot of games with both and there was no difference, but extremely big difference with that, alright? So now, staying power and out for Dodger. Why 1 out of 3 here? Why 3 out of 3 here? Well, that's simply because um, you are going to dodge a lot. My playstyle is, uh, this is good when you mix uh, dodging and running. A little bit of both. This is good when you really are going 
to have uh, a dodgy gameplay. <coughs> dodging consistently, dodging a lot, dodging a lot more than what just your uh, first part of stamina lets you do. So you will be able normally, I think, to dodge like four or five times. Then your stamina will start to, reg uh, to regenerate, and then this will come in. <sighs> Having more stamina once a bar is depleted after five or six dodges doesn't matter anymore, because then you just count on the region of your stamina. And these do not increase the regeneration, okay? So regeneration is base. And but this, when your st stamina bar is depleted and you're waiting to get another dodge quickly, this will matter, you will get it faster. So that's why I'm going with Rathfrey Dodger all the way maxed out. My gameplay, will, you will see, will just be dodging. I, I try to avoid running. Running is something you have to do at times against some enemies to avoid some hits, but dodging is really what you should do. So yeah, that's why. <coughs> now that you're up close, extremely useful at book, an extra 20% damage, easy 20% damage. If you try to get a little bit closer from enemies during your, <coughs> during your games, using this and this together is fairly important, I would say. Often, Doing a, lit, uh, doing, a, uh, doing a dodge um, forward, for example, if so enemy enemies in front of you, do a dodge forward, get closer, that will make it easier to aim at this enemy as well. You will see that in, in the gameplay. Uh, last chance, like, super important, uh, I will probably go to 20%, the more, you know, the higher in prestige I get, I would say. But yeah, <laughs> and this light therapy. This was tested through some very very tough games very very challenging games you in, you might not find this useful you might not find this useful but when you don't have it and you go against the sweaty ball you will see the difference easily why this why two out of two and not here like like here one out of two that's because of one thing i will just show it to you very simple very very simple and straightforward and I think you will uh, understand so round pound paranoia increase the field level of survivors when near an active objective if they are prestige it goes to 2 it's easy to be prestige 1 <coughs> then manhunter uh, look at the bottom fear increase on marked survivors 35% <coughs> okay so if you are marked and there is this as well your fear increases super quickly quicker quicker than what you can get from a light source and that's where the you know the, um, the interesting part is <coughs> this will let you this will not be even this will not be enough to have your um, your fear lower at some fire sources i'm not talking about campfires i'm not talking about sorry light sources with this it will lower no matter what that's very important against uh, sweaty balls so yeah this i, I really got tested uh, really super important in this meta i would say uh yeah so that's the build now uh yeah you will have uh, a gameplay with revolver blunderbuss as i said um and then the long game with a rifle and a machine and SMG for the one who really wants it. There is a bunch of timestamps for everything, so you can really navigate through the parts of this video. You know, it's probably going to be a quite long uh, video, you know, third point. But I think it's all useful. So, yeah. Uh, see you in the first uh, part of the gameplay. I will be commentating the two first gameplays, but not the long game. Alright guys, so first gameplay, as you can see, I'm facing the my, a mighty ball. My fear, is, my fear is kind of high, but there is a light source, and there comes my build, you know, there comes the reason why it is so useful to have, um, yeah, you can see it's fairly crowded here, but I'm, I'm, I'm nailing those headshots, you know, try to watch the gameplay, the way I move, the way I aim, you know, and you will understand slowly how I do nail those headshots. No, like dodging backwards when always dodge backwards when an enemy attacks you and then shoot it it really triggers the auto aim somehow 
when an enemy is far just do the opposite <coughs> you know like this I'm, I'm getting closer with every shot if an enemy goes to the left I go to the left this see I, I, I dodge forward did you see that I think you did yeah sometimes you have to dodge forward to get a bit closer and to trigger the auto aim somehow it, it's fairly useful to dodge anyways that was not an easy objective and I really think I, I oh and yeah watch my fear by the way it's all oh, it's lower damn amazing right but wow, that's really really useful this light source um, <coughs> skill okay So this dude, Pablo got DC while doing a finisher, which was awesome to watch. I was like, yeah, that's really cool. Oh, also the the trap, um, the fifteen percent here, you can see it being used as well. You know, for my build, the fifteen percent uh, less fear from getting into a trap. I would have had max fear there, I think. Anyways, a oh, lot of shooting from me there. You know, I'm just trying to nail those shots. I'm trying to kill everything because my teammates, uh, circuit teammates, they are clearly not. Okay, someone just died, so now it's just me and this uh, warrior Ash, uh, who is uh, who is not here. <laughs> Very simple. Okay, I'm being attacked here, so I'm using my skill. I'm not running if you watch carefully, okay? I am not running, I am letting my stamina go up. Boom, shooting, shooting, shooting. He's trying to jump scare, so I'm not, I didn't try to save his game, that was no point. Okay, a lot of shooting there, not a lot of headshots. We, I find it difficult to headshot for the basics, but I still managed to do so at times. Alright, so I, I would just let you enjoy the end of uh, this fairly intense gameplay. You will see it by yourself. And uh, I will be commenting the beginning of the next one with a blender bus as well. Alright, I think, yeah, now you have the Blunderbuss gameplay at the book. <coughs> so that's what you have. Blunderbuss, just shoot with it as quickly as you can. That's what I'm doing here. I'm not even going for headshots. I'm not even trying to. Your whole uh, goal, I mean, you know, and obviously it's hard to headshot the ball basics, but yeah. Mm. So yeah, but it just, I'm just trying not to miss my shots. I, I find it fairly important. I'm starting to dodge now because uh, there is a possessed enemy to get the, uh, you know, the bonus you can have. So well, watch, watch the way I move. I am not running. I just spend my whole time uh, walking. I'm always trying to aim a little bit uh, um, above. You know, like there is some. Imagine if you know, imagine if there was some kind of line where you always should be aiming. You know, that's a line to get. You know, headshots. I'm not getting headshots there, but that works against every other demon. Basically, okay. So, ball spawn, you know, and there, okay. Headshot. I'm trying to dodge. Boop, I miss. It's really cool, the bleeding lets you see where he's at, and that just saved me, by the way. Alright. 
some more blunder burst. By the way, with the blunder burst, I can add every single headshot on on over basics from uh, zero. You know, from anything else than ball. I don't know why against ball. I find it okay, difficult to do headshots. So max fear here, which is super annoying. I drop my gun. All good. Just drop your gun. You know. Find I get it back. You know, happy hunter. <coughs> Alright, the book phase start, and now you're going to see a little bit of my uh, book gameplay. I already start to judge for a while. I kill, I kill every basic I can as quick as I can. Against Bali, you, you don't really want to, um, how to say. Yeah, against Bali, you, you don't really care about balance, but you just want to do damage and to kill things as quick as possible. That's your, that's your goal. Yeah, that's your goal for the game. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. Boom, I, I did my dodge, so I'm good to go. I have a really, really good hunter with me as well, so we are basically doing double hunter on this one. Getting some bleeding damage, it's not that high, but it's okay. Yeah, just, just killing stuff, not missing your shots, very important. Sometimes aiming is not necessarily about your right stick, it's about moving your character to the left or to the right. Watch carefully what I'm doing. <coughs> I'm dodging sideways, I'm dodging forward, it, it really depends on where the enemy is, basically. Uh, but this guy was trying to block my shots, by the way, I don't know why. And, uh, that makes it more challenging, right? Well, it's just shit. So yeah, now yeah, dodging sideways, now I'm going to the left a little bit. You know, I'm trying to nail those shots. I'm really trying to do good, you know, but being a good hunter is, uh, <coughs> is not easy. You have to keep practicing at all games. I got my bleeding here, my double head shot. Very good. <coughs> Alright, there you go. I'm getting better as of, you know, you can see I'm, I'm, I'm slowly getting better, you know, like every weapon is different and you, oh by the way, there is no secret. If you are not good with the blunderbuss, but for some reason you are good with, uh, let's say, the revolver, well, practice with the blunderbuss. It's a very different weapon with a different type of aiming. I don't know why, don't ask me, it's just how it is in the game, it's different. So the only way to um, to be good with every weapon is to, is to practice with all of them, they are different. You have to play with each weapon very differently. I don't know why. It's just how it is, but I find it cool. There is a, a great and a great learning curve with every gun in this game. It, but once you get good with every gun, it's super fun to be hunter. And, and it, obviously, once you get good with your with your dodges and everything. So, uh, okay, long gameplay coming now. Uh, and yeah, uh, enjoy the rest of the video, and uh, see you next time. a bunch of losers. No offense, guys. Great. Now I can see how bad things actually are. This one's got girth.
over there, you better bring your A-game. Keep moving, you're okay. Got me. 